Hi everyone, in this video I am going to tell you about multiplexer. Multiplexer is also known as a data selector. It is also known as it is also known as data selector. Data selector. So what do you mean by data selector or what do you mean by multiplexer? Here at the input of a multiplexer we are having 2 power n number of inputs. Out of these 2 power n number of inputs the particular multiplexer will select only one input and that will be sent to the output. That's why it is known as data selector. <coughs> it has 2 power n number of inputs 2 power n number of inputs and 1 output 1 output it also has n number of n number of selection lines selection lines okay that means the size of a multiplexer is referred to as 2 power n by 1 2 power n by 1 where n indicates number of selection lines <coughs> n indicates number of selection lines okay that means a multiplexer has 2 power n number of input lines out of these 2 power n number of input lines only one output will be sent that means out of these and 2 power n number of inputs particular uh, input whichever we are selecting through the selection lines that particular input will be sent to the output so only one output will come at a time from the multiplexer so if you see the representation of a multiplexer multiplexer is represented like a decoder encoder how we are representing in the similar way we are also representing the multiplexer in a box shape with 2 power n by 1 size and here the inputs are 2 power n 2 power n and here we are having n number of selection lines selection lines are very important which are there for multiplexer and demultiplexer okay demultiplexer is the opposite action of the multiplexer and these selection lines are existed for these two uh, logic circuits multiplexers and demultiplexers whereas decoders and encoders doesn't have uh, don't have this particular selection lines so here <coughs> these are 2 power n number of inputs 2 power n number of inputs and n number of selection lines n number of selection lines and only one output y one output y okay so data selector other name of this multiplexer is a data selector suppose i i have n is equal to for example for example n is equal to n is equal to 2. So, what do you mean by n equal to 2 means what is the size of the multiplexer now? 2 power 2. 2 power 2 by 1. That is equal to 4 by 1. As n is equal to 2, 2 selection lines are there and 4 inputs are there and only 1 output will come. Suppose if n is equal to 1, if n is equal to 1, it is 2 power n by 1 that is equal to 2 by 1. How many number of here two selection lines and here one selection line one selection line okay let us first see 2 by 1 multiplexer for example take a 2 by 1 2 by 1 multiplexer multiplexer in short is it is also known as mux Okay, sorry <clears throat> multiplexer in short it is also known as mux okay so 2 by 1 mux or multiplexer so 2 by 1 2 power 1 
one indicates the number of selection lines so here we have only one selection line and here we have two inputs those two inputs are taken as some m0 and m1 here m0 m1 are the inputs of the multiplexer and only one output let it be y so this is 2 by 1 max the indication of the multiplexer is 2 into 1 nothing but 2 by 1 okay so <coughs> depends on selection line output will come here multiplexer tabular form consisting of selection lines and then output that's it okay so if the selection line is zero if the selection line is zero that means this zero will select the zeroth pin of the input this is the zeroth pin and this is the first pin okay so zeroth pin means m naught will be going to the output then y is connected to m0 and if selection line is equal to 1 then y is connected to m1 that's it okay suppose here we have m0 internally how it is constructed m0 m1 these are the two inputs here we have a switch here we have a switch this is the output and this switch is controlled by s yes. <coughs> nothing but selection line if as is s is equal to 0 this switch is connected to the first position and if s is equal to 1 this switch is connected to second position based on that output will come hope you understand now okay this is the situation for any type of multiplexer suppose if you go for the 4 by 1 multiplexer 4 by 1 max 4 by 1 max so 4 by 1 is represented as 2 power 2 all numbers must be in terms of 2 powers all numbers must be in terms of 2 powers 3 by 1 multiplexer 5 by 1 multiplexers are not there okay multiplexer size itself is a 2 power n 2 power n that means the inputs must be the number of inputs must be in the powers of 2 <coughs> okay suppose suppose if three inputs are there fourth input is not there then you have three by one multiplexer three by one multiplexer is constructed from four by one multiplexer only by making one of the inputs as zero okay so four by one multiplexer here we have four inputs four inputs these four inputs are m0 m1 m2 m3 so zero one two three and only we have one output this is 4 by 1 max 4 by 1 max and as it is 2 power 2 we have two selection lines s0 and s1 s0 and s1 what could be the truth table of this one so s1 s0 two inputs are there two selection lines are there and this is the output y <coughs> okay always in the multiplexer we are having we are having the truth table between the selection lines and the output selection lines and the output okay so 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 these are the selection line combinations and when it is 0 0 simply this selects m0 so m0 will be going to the output 0 1 means m1 will be going output m2 and then m3 okay so this is 4 by 1 multiplexer suppose this is the 2 by 1 multiplexer we have seen okay <coughs> how how to write the expression for the 2 by 1 multiplexer how to write the expression for 2 by 1 multiplexer very easy see y is equal to y is equal to m naught will come m naught will come when s is having 0 nothing but s bar plus and y is equal to m1 will come if it is yes so y is equal to m0 s bar plus m1 yes y is equal to m0 s bar plus m1 into yes so this is the boolean equation of the 2 by 1 multiplexer boolean equation of the 2 by 1 multiplexer suppose if s is equal to 0 
s is equal to 0 nothing but 0 bar means 1 so m0 will come and whereas this is m1 into 0 this will, this will go away so simply m0 will be the output and similarly if s is equal to 1 that makes the first value m0 becomes 0 because a 1 bar means 0 so first value will be 0 and second value will be m1 so then y is equal to m1 like that we can <coughs> And draw the uh, we can write the boolean equation use the same in the construction of a logic circuit logic or we can say internal circuit internal circuit of 2 by 1 max you can also draw the logic circuit diagram for the 4 by 1 multiplexer just by taking the boolean equation okay so, what is the expression y is equal to m0 s bar plus m1 s. So, how many? Two AND gates are there, two AND gates are there and one R gate is there. Along with that, we also have one inverter to make this s to be complemented. So, one AND gate, one more AND gate followed by R gate. So, this is Y. <coughs> this is M0, M1 and first we have a NOT gate here and second one does not have any gates. So, simply yes. This is the logic circuit logic circuit for 2 by 1 multiplexer logic or internal circuit for the 2 by 1 multiplexer similarly you can also write the expression for y in the 4 by 1 multiplexer how to write m naught m naught into what are the status of s1 and s2 s1 and s naught so s1 bar s naught bar plus m1 s 1 bar s naught plus m2 s1 s naught bar plus m3 s naught yes s1 s naught okay this is the boolean expression for the 4 by number flexor very simple just this value multiplied by the status of this s1 and s naught if 0 is there then we have to take bar if 1 is there directly true form we have to construct okay so, this is the introduction of the multiplexer which is also known as a data selector and 2 by 1 multiplexer and then 4 by 1 multiplexer. Similarly, we can also go for the 8 by 1 multiplexer. What is the difference? 8 by 1 multiplexer, we are having a total 8 inputs in the input side of the multiplexer. So, how many selection lines will be there? So, 8 means 2 power 3. So, 3 selection lines S0, S1, S3 will come and 1 output. Okay. Thank you.